So Web3 Gaming on the Metaverse from Castellero. Uh, I've lost the question now. What will be the main driver for the next bull run? I actually think it's stuff like ticketing. I also think it's what Meta are doing by making NFTs available. I think NFTs are probably the big enabler here. Uh, NFTs are obviously for ticketing as well. Um, I, I think it's probably NFTs. Uh, I don't think it's Metaverse yet. I don't think it's big enough. Uh, Web3 for gaming, we're all waiting for that breakthrough. Does it happen? Does it not? I, I don't know. I'm not a gamer, so it's not. I'm not really the person to ask. Um, Barry Dwyer, what about Fed funds rate going to five and a half percent? Well, the market priced in five percent, so if it goes to five and a half, that's a small rate of change increase, not the end of the world. Markets won't like it because it means the inflation numbers have been stickier or higher than expected. But, you know, is that enough to crash the markets or something? I, I, I just don't think so. Um, Jamos Ricky, question. Why would businesses use blockchains that are transparent like ETH, SOL, etc., when anyone can look at a transaction in and out? Would a private ETH-like blockchain like Dero be a better choice? I think the elements of transparency of blockchain I've always been the Mac guy. I understand a lot of people like staking and I, I have nothing against staking. I just don't care for yield. I'm a price drive guy. I'm a macro guy and I'm not driven like that. So I don't sell options. I don't buy stuff for yield or in macro land. I don't buy stuff for carry. It's just not my gig. My gig is price up, price down. And that's the risk I'm happy to run because it's a quantifiable, idiot proof risk. You know the risk you have. And then you've got the esoteric risk of what exchange my custody in crypto you don't even need to have that so you just run if I, if you're storing in your ledger device you've got one risk one major risk which is price great we understand that one and then you have a risk that something happens with your um with your keys and that's a risk you can mitigate much better you never store them at home you store them in a safe place you store them in multiple safe places, you put them on a metal device, and you're done. Um, so that's how I think about it. So your risk is now minimal. But the moment you start entering a financial system where money is pulled, you end up into risks. And so I don't like any of that, and I don't like yield. Um, um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, it's a, I think it's a sentiment capitulation. I mean, I've seen people I've known for a long time in this market, friends of mine who I'm really close to, just going, well, fuck this, I've had enough of it. Or this is the worst thing I've ever seen. You know, I can't, this space is never going to recover. Usually that happens around the low, so we're close. Um, Henrik West, um, sorry, C, question, you still believe in Solana? I covered that question earlier. You can go back and watch that later. Um, J Pro Rock. Do you have any strong feelings, thoughts on UBI? Will we get to a point where it's a real realistic possibility and will it have the benefits the pundits? Say? I think this is a crypto, ask me anything, and universal basic income, I think, is not really a crypto topic. Although I do believe that you'll be able to earn a use, universal basic equity by earning tokens within the communities that you operate and add value to. Um, and so there will be a different way of, solving that that i think people haven't thought through and i've talked through that before on some of my videos um, um talking about all sorts of issues that he's seen in the past i have no issue with that we had no financial relationship with ftx nothing i just couldn't pull it off but mark seems to be angry at me for that and i you know i'm sorry for that because i consider him a friend and it's a shame um Dreams 7X, what do you think of Board Ape Yacht Club, Adidas, all that stuff? Board Ape is a media brand and a cultural brand that has built, became the fastest accumulation of value for a brand, I think, in history. Um, Tarek, who is my president of Science Magic Studios, the business I set up, is was the head of Web3 at Adidas. I love these affiliations between Web3 brands, traditional brands, where digital meets physical and culture gets tokenized. Love that whole thing. Is that what you want to invest in? Not my business to say, but I love the whole idea of it. 
Okay, John Kurgan, FTX, does it speed up the long overdue regulation in this space? Well, it's exhausting, isn't it? We want this bloody regulation. I know there's a lot of libertarians who don't want any regulation, but we can't just prosecute people for something they've done without knowing they've done wrong. And then forcing people to go offshore to do stuff outside of the hand of the regulators because the regulators won't create clear guidance. And again, people like Brian Armstrong have been saying this very clearly, going to DC, as has everybody, and they're not listening. So what you ended up with was a spokesman who was a bloody crook going to DC with money, bribing people for his own business interests when the broader crypto community has stuff to say here. They're happy for some form of regulation and it needs to be done sensibly that takes into account things like DeFi, which Sam Bankman-Fried was not taking into account. Um, I hope it speeds up regulation. I hope Gary Gensler loses his fucking job. Um, Austin Smith, do you see DeFi conforming more to traditional finance models with regulation or the inverse happening? One fact is true. If you want to live in a country, you have to abide by their rules. The key rule is pay your taxes because that's how countries run. KYC AML, they kind of caught, pretend it's all about money laundering. What they actually want is the taxes paid on bad stuff as well. DeFi needs to figure out KYC AML. I think we need to figure out zero knowledge proofs to do it. So therefore, you don't have to give all of your details all the time because that's the antithesis of what we're trying to do in Web3. Um, I know many people are working on this, but it needs to get done pretty urgently. Um, ben Anderson, good question. Why has China and India gone first with CBDCs before the US? Very simply, the US is the world's reserve currency. It controls SWIFT. It controls the euro dollar market. That is how the entire world works. It's 87% of every transaction on earth is in US dollars. So I think they kind of like the system as it is. And India and China don't want the reliance on these rails. And we've seen Iran, we've seen Russia being shut out of swift rails, and that's a geopolitical risk. So they want to move faster. They also have issues with broad populations of unbanked and poor people who need to be brought into the system. And central bank digital currencies and India's whole digital initiative has helped that at scale. So I, I think it's a net, net good thing. Thank you. That button, right? Um, Tether. I wouldn't use Tether myself. And I don't think the risk is the depegging. I don't know who's using Tether not meaning it's fake usage. I mean, my guess is that regulators come down on Tether for the use of Tether to move money around the system that shouldn't be moved around the system. And I'm not talking about drug dealers, I'm talking about sovereigns. So I would just prefer to stick to the US ones. Um, see that subscribe now button keeps coming up. Just remember to do that because I'm not seeing the number of subscribers change here. Um, yeah, that's my waggy finger to tell you off. Um, so I would rather use um, 